in yet another incident of gun violence in the US. One person has been killed and five others are left wounded following a dispute between two groups of teenagers at a New York subway station. According to the New York Police Department, the NYPD, the group of teenagers were riding on a northbound train. Indiscriminate shots were fired when the train doors opened at the Mount Eden subway station. The incident occurred at the evening rush hour when the platform was filled with kids returning from school. Police haven't been able to provide immediate details on the exact chain of events but has stressed that a manhunt is on for the shooter who fled the scene. We don't believe this was a random shooting. We do not believe that this was an individual indiscriminately firing into a train or in a train station. This incident today occurred or it was as a result of two groups that started fighting while on a train. Authorities have said that four males were shot, including a 34-year-old who, who has succumbed to his injuries. Some of the people shot were part of the dispute, while others were bystanders. Reports also suggest that a 14-year-old girl and a 29-year-old woman have also been hit but have no life-threatening wounds. A suspect has not been identified yet. Police have said that video footage from the subway station is under review to determine the exact number of shooters. For more on this, our correspondent Susan Terhani sent us this report earlier from New York. Listen in. The gunfire broke out on an elevated train platform in the Bronx here in New York at around 4.30 p.m. local time when stations throughout the city are filled with kids going home from school and many workers just beginning their evening commute. Police said that a man in his 30s was killed and a fire department spokesman said that the five injured were in serious condition. A 61-year-old eyewitness man told local news stations here that the train was coming and there were two kids yelling. There were at least six shots fired. He said that he saw sparkles of bullets going around. He also witnessed a woman holding a child screaming, running away. Some two years after a joint effort by the governor and mayor to keep subways safe, they're still twice as dangerous per rider as they were back in 2019. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One.